Today on Tactical Tuesday, we are going to answer the question, how quiet is a suppressed 22? So it's no secret that modern warriors, we love suppressed firearms and we especially love putting suppressors on 22s and for that reason we wanted to demonstrate how quiet a suppressed 22 can actually be so the plan for today is that we're going to use a dead air mask as our primary suppressor and we're going to put that suppressor on three different platforms between those three platforms we feel we're going to get a decent baseline of how quiet these can actually be and then we're going to compare that sound to everyday noises that you may find around your home such as popping a balloon shooting a paintball gun and a couple other noises so let's jump into it and see how quiet these things actually can be for today's test, we are out here with Chris Irvine, who is a good friend of the shop, and he is the one who has graciously provided all of the equipment that we're going to be using today to get good, accurate decibel readings. Uh, but Chris, can you tell us a little bit about how this equipment works and what this equipment is? Absolutely. This is the BK2209 meter. We are using the ind industry standard measurements. So we are 1.6 meter off the ground, and we are one meter left of the muzzle just so you have the same consistent and accurate readings throughout the whole video. Now to start off our test for today, we're gonna to shoot the Begara bolt action unsuppressed using supersonic ammunition. This will give us a good baseline as far as how loud an unsuppressed 22 actually is. That way, as we start putting suppressors on these guns, you get a good idea of how well they do at suppressing the firearm. So let's jump into it. Okay, all right, firing. 147, 147, 147, 147, 147. and 147 decibels. Awesome. That math's easy. So that is going to be our baseline at 147 decibels using the unsuppressed bolt action Bagara. So anything quieter than that obviously is going to be a good sound suppression. So let's see how quiet we can get this thing. And to kick things off, we're going to start off with the Bagara bolt action 22 rifle with the dead air mask on there. Loaded up, we have CCI quiets subsonic rounds. We're gonna do five shots through the rifle. We'll get a decibel read on each shot. Chris here is gonna keep track of the numbers that we get from each shot, and we're gonna get a good average on that. Once we're done with the subsonic rounds, we're gonna go ahead and load it up with some supers and do five shots and get an average with those. All right, so here we go. One oh three decibels. One oh four. One oh four and a half. One oh four. One oh six. Okay. So next up, we're going to run some supers. Should be a little louder, but not too much. Okay. 128. 125. 123. 125, 125, and 103 decibels. Next up, we've got the Ruger Mark III shooting supersonic rounds through it. And again, we have the dead air mask as our suppressor. You ready to go? Yep. Here we go. 125. 
122. 121. 123. 122. Awesome. Next up, we've got the Ruger Mark III 22 pistol. It still has the dead air mask on there and we are shooting subsonic ammunition. Let's go ahead and jump on in there. You ready? Yes, sir. 116. 112. 111, 112, 113, 112 decibels. Next up, we've got the Ruger 1022 semi-automatic rifle. We're going to go ahead and put five rounds of supersonic ammunition downrange. Again, we are using the dead air mask as our suppressor for these tests. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. 120 even. 121. 125, 123, 121 decibels. 21 decibels. All right. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do subsonic rounds through the Ruger 1022. Uh, again, same dead air mask suppressor. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. 112. 112, 112, 112, 113, 112. Okay, so it's uh, 112 average? Yeah. All right, next up, we're gonna pop some balloons to see how loud these read on the decibel reader. Now, as you can tell by the movement of the balloons, it's kind of windy. The desert wind is kicked up. So we're gonna get you as good a readings as we can. But let's, hear, let's go ahead and see what we can do with these things. You ready, Chris? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. 132. 131. 130, 137. And I'm glad I've got my ear pro on for these ones. 130, <laughs> 134. So that was significantly louder. A lot louder. My ear's ringing right now. So that is louder than even the supersonic rounds through the suppressor. So that just goes to show that even a common popping balloon is way louder than a suppressed 22. Here we go. Let's see what this, the Glock size sounds like. 114, 116, 116, 116 again. and 115. All right. I mean, there you go. That's pretty, pretty impressive. I mean, that, I feel like it's just interesting hearing all these actual sounds that we, you know, mess around with all day long. It's kind of putting some context to how loud a suppressed 22 actually is. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. The wind's kind of playing havoc with the meter here with the pressures. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get done with it. We're going to go ahead and try to drop the bolt on an AR just to kind of give you an idea how loud that is. So about a meter off. You ready? Yep. Here we go. 113 
113. One thirteen again. One thirteen again. One twelve. One twelve. Okay, so definitely some deviations there. And what does that put us at? It's right around the uh... just slightly higher than the bolt gun with the subsonic. Okay. So that's pretty impressive still. Again, though, that gives you a pretty good idea when it comes to the shooting suppressed, if you have any familiarity with an AR-15 about what that noise level is. So, Next up, we've got a paintball gun. We're going to see how this guy compares to a suppressed 22. Chris, you ready? I'm sure ready. Okay, here we go. 111. 112. 113. 113, 112. Okay. So that's what, right about on par? About right on par, subsonics. A little <laughs> bit louder than the subsonics. That's wild. Well, the toy is still louder than a subsonic 22. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Next up, the old staple gun. Let's see if this is as loud as a suppressed 22. You ready? Yep. 109, 108, 110, 110, 110. So where does that put us? That's right around? Right around. Suppressed level? Yeah, with subsonic ammunition. That's wild. That is wild. So that is as loud as a suppressed subsonic 22. It's insane. So as you can see guys, putting a suppressor on your 22 is awesome. It's well worth the effort. You can see by the testing that we did today that by putting a suppressor on your 22, regardless of whether it's a handgun or a rifle, can significantly reduce the sound signature on that firearm to the point where we're getting those guns quieter than a lot of common everyday noises. So guys, if you want to achieve that Hollywood level quiet, put a suppressor on that 22. You're not gonna regret it. Um, I know that it's definitely one of my favorite things to suppress. Uh, Chris, I know it's one of yours. Yep, that's my favorite thing. I love suppressed 22s all day long with the kids. Perfect. I want to just say thank you for coming out here today, hanging out with us out here at the desert, bringing your awesome equipment out here so that we could get some good information on these suppressors and really kind of getting a good idea of how quiet a 22 can be when suppressed. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Awesome, guys. Well, if you have any questions at all about the guns that we used here, the ammo, uh, the suppressors, feel free to reach out to us, whether it's through the message boards, DMs. Uh, you can call the shop, stop by the shop. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions you have. If there's anything you ever want to see us test out, let us know. We'd be happy to do so. And until next week, continue to train hard, train smart, and God bless you.